always occurs, either from legal review, management review, and assistance in preparation of the audit. So those are direct audit-related expenses. Okay. Um, and then uh, legal is uh, down uh, 30000 in 2013 for a proposed budget of 90, management 50, accounting 35, uh, director's fees 6500 and that allows for a contingency of 230534 And that one thing I want to point out is in the general fund uh, budget, we budget to a zero ending fund balance. Um, and so really, the leftover money, if you will, is put in that contingency line. So that's kind of where a fund balance number would be. So that's at 235.34. That gets us to a zero in the fund balance. So total expenditure is 446925 um, We anticipate transferring 230000 to the enterprise fund, $189,081 to the debt fund, and um, we plan to fund an enterprise fund operational reserve of 75000 and we also are required to keep an uh, emergency reserve of 24447 So all of that, all those expenses uh, would need to be formally appropriated by adoption of this budget, and that number is $889,823. So is there a formula for the emergency reserve based yeah. on 3%? Three percent. Three percent. It's a TABOR requirement. Mm -hmm. TABOR requires that you reserve 8% of your general fund monies in order for it emergencies. But the funny thing is that it doesn't really define emergencies other to say what it doesn't constitute. So for example, a general fund deficit is not an emergency under TABOR. So you always have to reserve that. And when you don't use it, it rolls forward into the next year. But you do have to budget it in your in your budget. Otherwise, you're uh, violating the Constitution. So, so it has to be in your budget or yeah. you have to have the funds in reserve? Both. Both. So and the, end of the, year, the audit needs to show that we have those funds have available money. in our general fund. Right. It's both. It's in your budget on the document, but you also have to have that money in your bank account. So we don't, we don't, we, we aren't showing it at, under a 2012 estimate. Yeah, well, that's because we're not using it. So it rolled, that amount rolls forward into the following year. The so you can see it's in the budget, the 20,000 three times. Mm -hmm. But because we didn't have to use any of it, mm -hmm. we did. That we spent zero on okay. our emergency reserve, so it rolls forward to the next year. That's good. Yeah. Right. I mean. Yeah. So, so if you fund balance is going to be seventy-four thousand, uh -huh. we, by virtue of that, we will meet right. our reserve for the audit. Okay. If our ending fund balance is anything below that twenty thousand, we wouldn't be reserving the proper amounts. Got it. Okay. Thanks, Lindsay. Yep. Um, so continuing on, if we turn the page, any other questions on the general fund, by the way? Okay. Uh, in the enterprise fund, then uh, we anticipate starting the year with uh, $252,869. Uh, revenues, uh, water usage fees of $258,669. Sewer usage fees of two hundred seven six thirty three. Um, we're backing out uh, what we consider not non collectible amounts or uh, receivable amounts that we may not collect in that budget year of thirty five thousand. And then uh, usage penalties we're budgeting ten thousand. Uh, transfer fee we're budgeting one thousand two hundred fifty. Uh, for payments in lieu of taxes eighty five hundred. Uh, cap fee installments twenty thousand, uh, hookup fees five thousand, rent eighteen hundred, and uh, interest two thousand five hundred for total revenue of four hundred eighty thousand three hundred fifty one dollars. Um, Lindsay, uh, does this revenue line item anticipate um, any changes in rate? Yes, we. Um it was the $1 rate increase this year um, for the enterprise fund, and then the debt service fund was the, I believe it was $10 for ALS. Okay. So it would be $1 per EQR for water and sewer. So a regular single family residential home would go up $1 on the uh, water side, $1 on the sewer side, right? Correct. 
correct. And, and the reason why, like, the estimate for 2012 was slightly higher than the proposed is because there is a usage portion in 2000, the 2012 estimate. Mm -hmm. And so we added the dollar off of... Base rate only. Base rate only. Mm -hmm. And we didn't... We just are conservative in the amount that we're giving for usage for next year. Okay. All right. And so... Again, total revenue is 480351 Now, the actual revenues received may come in a little higher than that because, like Lindsay just said, mm -hmm. the, uh, the water is billed on a base rate and a consumption rate. Okay. So if consumption is high for those accounts that are metered, and we have a lot of them that aren't, that we're trying to correct you know, as we go forward, but uh, for that metered usage that's billable, that's a variable amount. So it's kind of difficult to say exactly what we'll receive in revenue on that. Was the sale of the asset the vector truck? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And why, um, why the significantly lower than 2012 estimate uh, uh, payment in lieu of taxes? They had a three-year catch-up. Ah. And okay. so that's why mm -hmm. Colorado College. So they, they okay. hadn't paid for quite okay. a long time because they had somebody that was kind of arguing the amounts and then he left and then got paid. So <laughs> worked out well for us. <laughs> Maybe not so much for him, but. <laughs> so. right. Any other questions? Um, you notice yeah. the transfer fee is a lot lower than the estimate for 2012. Mm -hmm. That's another one. It's just impossible to say how much we'll actually collect. Sure. So okay. we go with the conservative number. Okay. Did, um, actually, I guess I have a question about our responsibility. Um, I know I know we posted this budget mm -hmm. on the website and that the public had it. Um, I think it was also an eagle, wasn't it? Yeah. Public school. Well, the, there was a notice that it yeah. would be on our right. website and mm -hmm. available. Um, but I'm wondering about our responsibility um, to tell the public in advance that the budget includes rate increases. Well, I think... I don't think... We, I'm, I'm sure I, we don't I understand know. what you're saying. The budget is one document with its distinct set of responsibilities, and a rate increase is a separate issue okay. to the extent that I think if we're going to go ahead with the rate increase, mm -hmm. then that's a separate notice that goes out you know, okay. in advance of the billing okay. or at the board's discretion. Okay. Uh, the, the, There's not a legal requirement. So in, in, right. if we approve right. this right. budget, we're not, we have, there, there is more discussion and, and a different action of the board that would actually raise the rates? Well, yes. I mean, you, you can adopt this revenue number, but if you don't actually instruct staff to change the rate, mm -hmm. then you won't meet your budgeted number. So, you know, it is two separate things. And uh, so, yes, I mean, you can adopt this budget as it is, and then you can decide whether or not you're actually going to take the actions to meet your revenue mm -hmm. adopted numbers. Okay. okay. <clears throat> you can either not do it or you can raise it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you could. My my point really is more. Yeah, I think the public. That actually, yeah, but the public knows that. Knows that a, I mean, I don't. Taken. I'm not sure that if we announce we're going to have a discussion on the budget, and the public's aware that we may or may not raise the rates. If they're interested, they'll come. If not, no. I don't see why particularly one item should be of particular value we should say we're going to raise the rates you've got to come and talk about it we they know we may talk about it in the budget and we've announced that the budget's going to be discussed I agree. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and, and my my as far as I know in the history I've been here it's not that long I've been two years but I have come to other meetings where the budget was discussed and it was always at this meeting that they would discuss it after the event, they can come and scream and shout, but if they chose not to come to the budget meeting. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Shall we move on? Yes. yes. Okay. All right, so continuing with the enterprise fund. 
Um, I don't know if you want me to go down each one of these numbers or not. Now, if you'd like, I'm happy to bottom line each of the enterprise uh, funds segregated. Yeah. So that would be fine with me. Yeah, fine okay. With me. So we're looking at total operations uh, in, in the enterprise fund, the operations portion of that fund. We're looking at total expenditures in the 2013 proposed budget of $258,600. Questions? So I. The only big change I see is in vehicle repairs and maintenance. So. Right. Is that what yeah. Yeah. And that actually was because there we just combined two categories, so it looks <laughs> like a big change to, to that category. Uh -huh. But we have actually are just removing the heavy equipment expense. Uh -huh. We just combine the 10 and the 15 and put it all in one line uh -huh. item now. So that particular line item has not actually increased. Mm -hmm. So small tools has gone down by quite a bit, and didn't we talk at the we, last we meeting about recategorizing? Um, we, well, we've got small tools breakout? and then we've got supplies, so we're, okay. we're breaking those out. Now, one okay. thing that I want to, as, as we go forward yeah. next year, and working with the budget, right. you know, diff these are numbers based on the historic need and, and how we're trying to steer financially. Right. But in reality, it, it may vary from that. And, you know, I think in the operations category, that bottom line number is probably our most important. Yeah, okay. You know, we want to stay within that number. And I, I, Stephen and I have had discussions about, you know, help about coding and following the budget through the year. And right. the biggest, most important number here in this operation section is that bottom line number. Mm -hmm. You may have to run over in small tools or supplies, depending on what the okay. needs of the district are. As long as those expenditures are appropriate, you know, I don't have a problem with that. We want to stay within that bottom line number. It's really what we Thanks. need to do. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I would request as we go through, I'm fine with the bottom line. Sure. Um, but if if there is a big change, I'm, I'm scanning through and mm -hmm. looking, but if there's a big change or anything to highlight, if you, if you or Lindsay would do that, that would be great. Okay. If there's anything significant. Well, so the big changes on the operation is just uh, raw water. Yeah. yeah. Based yeah. Historical cost went up yeah. quite a bit from the 65000 budget for 2012. Yeah. Um, the testing and permit fees. 2012 budget was 4,000. Um, we are budgeting 10,000, but that was based on um, a review with Stephen of the actual testing cost needed for 2013. Will yeah. that include the? Um... Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> thank you for reading my mind. And, and the rest of the line items, if they they, they may have gone up or down, but okay. they were pretty pretty minute. Uh, right. It was a large decrease though in professional fees from 50000 down to 25000 for 2013 based on the decrease mm -hmm. anticipation need of Olson services, I believe. There's a few engineers there. Yeah. That's what the professional fees really is. It's mostly going to be Olson. In the past it had been other things too, like we had to hire an ORC and operate a responsible charge, and now and I think it might be your the as well. Wait, 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 I'm sorry, I, I got lost. Where, where in, in what fees again? Professional, professional fees. fees on page mm -hmm. two. Second line the from the bottom. Okay, the got it. Okay. I see it, thank you. Yeah, they don't suck. <laughs> well, those are the three big things. That's why he's okay. Thanks. Thanks. All right. okay. This is the worst I eat um, every month. And it's on video, so we can't even, you can't even deny it when you go home. You might as well say, I saw you touch those cookies like 12 times. <laughs> I'm trying to get you covered by saying they're organic, but I don't know if I can promise um, no, that. Stephen, maybe we better put some cookies down here for us later because... <laughs> Can we move yeah, on? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. All right. So moving on to the repairs and maintenance section, the expenses um, we're budgeting ninety four thousand five hundred. A big change on that one is the water treatment chemicals, where okay. in twenty twelve we budgeted eight thousand, and with the change to soda ash, we're anticipating or we're budgeting thirty thousand. Um, not not exactly sure where we're going to come in, but we know it'll be higher. And then, again, we may have some savings on the wastewater chemical, but I don't think we can bank on that at this point. 
Well, we banked on it a little bit, it looks like. We from were eight to five thousand. Yeah. 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 yeah, we did. We cut it a little. Mm -hmm. Now, with the golf course, well, we're going from. Oh, no, we're right there. Okay. Um, we lowered the budget a lot, but it's just based on actual. Sure. Right. And in, uh, in terms of the golf course, well, I think that was because when we were operating it, we were anticipating a major repair. Uh -huh. Now, with the drought, and we're not operating it. Right. Um, so that's why and I we're see operating that. out of the motel lot. Okay. Thank you, Steve. And we're going to do that next year, too? It's more than likely okay. that we will not be operating the golf course well. Okay. All right. Any other questions on the repairs and maintenance section? So, so I'd just like to wait a second here. Yeah. Sure. If it is an incredibly wet winter and there's lots of water, we may go back to golf course well. Yes. What would be the expense, roughly? I mean, well, the, the, as far as I know, that pump has not been um, maintained. And so the worst case scenario, based on the pump repair person, was about 10 grand. If the pump failed and it had to be pulled out and parts had to be replaced and it had to be worked on. So that was just an estimate right. so of is it, what it might cost to deal with a failure at that, at that location. Is it